Well, welcome to John Gornick Memorial Arena. It's Ken Cohn and Todd Hess up in the booth here. It's Raiders hockey, girls hockey. Thursday night, this is going to be a doozy. Uh, the Eau Claire All-Stars are in the house tonight. Eau Claire All-Stars are ranked number two. Hudson, of course, is ranked number one right now in the coaches' picks. So a great, great matchup here. Had a chance earlier to chat with Karin By dietz one of the assistant coaches for the Hudson squad. We'll take a quick second and listen to what she had to say about the upcoming matchup. is ranked one of the top teams. Um, we're lucky to have, you know, hey, it's Ken Conan in the booth here with Karin By dietz Thanks for joining us, Coach. Coach By dietz I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, Karin obviously is one of the assistants for the girls squad and will be uh, on the bench for the upcoming game here, a big one. It's number one versus number two. Coach, uh, from a prep perspective, both physical, mental, what uh, going into this game, what are, uh, what are you guys working on? You know, we're looking really forward to this game. We know that Eau Claire is ranked in one of the top teams. Um, we're lucky to have you know a few games under our belt just to get some of the cobwebs out. We feel we've prepared for this game. Um, we're we're really ready to roll through our lines. Our defensemen are ready. Uh, Cassie's back in that. I'll tell you what, she had a, she's had some solid performances for us. So um, this this team is ready for this game, and, and they're very, very excited. Good, good. When you think about this game, you know, there's some keys coming into it. I can think of some obvious ones that I think of, but for you and the coaching staff, what are your three keys coming in? Well, we know they got a couple of good forwards. Abigail, number seven, and Ava, number ten, and they play on the same line. They got a lot of speed. Sure. Um, I actually watched a little video on them, and they got nice. some hands. They, they, you know, they can stick handle. So we got to make sure we keep an eye on them. Whenever sure. they're on the ice, we have to be aware because um, yep. they, they could cause some damage out there. Uh, something else we're going to do, we're going to get a lot of shots on this goaltender. Um, that's one thing that I think we have been lacking in the past, and, and our goal is to get it in the zone, set it up, get some shots, go for the rebound. And, and crash the net hard. Awesome. You know, sometimes these girls are hesitant to go hard to the net, and we're trying to get through to them that, you know, good things happen when you get to the net. Absolutely. And uh, our team has a lot of speed, and we've continued to work on our speed in practice, and I think we've I think we've even gotten faster. Awesome. So awesome. it should be fun. Well, after the last game, it's going to be fun to uh, see the squad out there. They looked great last time. It was a big blowout game last time. So it'll be a little bit changing gears a little bit with it. A different squad, the number two coming in now. Right, it was. You know, we, we definitely handled Superior. We, we thought they might be a little better. But you know what? It gave us a confidence boost. Awesome. I think we had 14 different players come away with points. Nine different wow. players came away with, with goals. And so, um, you know, we put some points on, on the board, and I think that's good for some of these girls to, to be able to, to get a goal or an assist. Love it. How about for our team, Hot Hands? You mentioned a couple on the uh, uh, Eau Claire team that's coming to town. How about for us? Who should we be watching? If this is your first game that you're tuning in, Girls Varsity, who, who do you watch? Well, I think our top player is number nine, Anna Wilgren. She's sure. a senior. She's uh, going to Mankato next year. She, by far, is our strongest, fastest player. She has one heck of a shot. I'll tell oh. you what, she can rifle that puck. Um, she's she's very offensive. We've given her the green light to, you know, take off and go sure. when, when she can. Um, up on that forward line, you have a big power forward like Sydney Hendricks, um, six foot tall, Unreal. big size. Yeah. yeah, a lot of size. She plays in line with Lexi Nelson and Rose Giblin, and uh, we got a lot of speed out there with Quinn yeah. Mankowski. Um, out for the lineup tonight is Greta Moreland. Okay. Um, just to let you know, she she took a shot to the to the the knee in practice the other day. A little bit okay. of a contusion. She'll be back soon, so okay. nothing nothing uh, too too major. But she will not be in the lineup tonight. And um, I think our, our big key points is, is using our speed. Awesome. Nobody awesome. Is. Saw Hendricks in that last game, and it seems like two strides between the blue <laughs> lines. Like, what the? <laughs> just whoop, gone, yeah. you know? She's big, and, and something she's worked on is, is her speed. Yeah. You know, being that big, you really got to be able to get coordinated. And, yeah. and she spent a lot of time in the weight room this summer really awesome. working on, on uh, getting her legs up to strength and, and getting her speed underneath her. So I think that's really helped her game a lot. Awesome. Awesome. Last question, coming into this game in the locker room, what's the uh, message from the coaches? Uh, play play Raider hockey. You know, I think we need to get off to a, a quick start. We want Eau Claire to know that we mean business. You're coming into our, our place. Yeah. This is our rink. These are our fans. Um, and we're going to play Raider hockey. And I think if we come out and do that, um, we should be able to come away with a W. Awesome. Thank you for your time, Karin. I appreciate uh, your time, and good luck today. Thank you so much. Well, Todd, what a great interview that Karin Bai gave earlier.
pregame, just uh, outstanding. Kind of uh, what you'd expect from a, uh, a coach that's not only worked at the uh, Minnesota State Hockey Tournament doing uh, some color commentary play-by-play, but uh, a gold medalist, gold, multiple gold, silver. Just a great, great person and uh, one of my faves uh, in this organization. Yeah, she's a super cool person. We're so lucky to, you know, to have her come on board with the organization here and uh, and coach the girls this year. And uh, she's uh, got a lot of information. She's a great person that we can, uh, you know, get, you know, that kind of content oh, from. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping that I can try to, you know, get with her and get her in front of the cameras again to where we can, you know, speak to her again. That'd be great. Well, Todd, tell us a little bit about the uh, the team coming in here, uh, the visiting team. It's the Eau Claire Altoona All-Stars. Yeah, I talked to Coach Tom Bernhardt, and what a super nice guy he is. And uh, he's just, uh, you know, building this program. And, you know, they're the number two team in the state against, right. you know, Hudson, who's number one. And we talked about it, uh, you know, the other day when we were playing Superior and uh uh, they've got a good squad, you know. Uh, they beat Superior five to three early in the season, and uh, you know we beat Superior twelve nothing. And then uh, they also played Black River Falls, and uh, and they beat them five to two, uh, which we only beat Black River Falls two to nothing. So uh, we outshot Black River Falls a lot to very little that game. And uh, so, you know, every game's different, you know. Hudson's going to have to bring their A game, and like Karin said, you know, we want to let uh, Eau Claire know that you're coming into our building and we're going to, we're gonna you know, put the pressure on you. So should be a fun game. Their goaltending's been really good. They've got a freshman goaltender um, that Coach uh, Bernhardt said has been playing fantastic. She's got a couple shutouts and... Wow. Uh, uh, they got a couple really good players, uh, Abigail Stowe, uh, number seven, and then Anna Kaizen, um, number 10, is just absolutely, I mean, they're two of the best players in the state. They're one of the leading points getters in the state right now. So it uh, should be fun, fun to watch those girls skate up, up against, you know, Hudson. You know, we got Anna Wilgren and Cindy Hendricks and uh, Danny Robson and, and you know you, you got a freshman like Nikki Owen that's just starting to come into her own and she got her first goal last week so uh, should be a fun night here at uh, John Gornick Memorial. Yeah I think it's going to be great uh, you talked about some of the uh, the all-star players number seven number ten uh, you watch both of them during warm-ups and you can tell they're just a step above the rest of the squad ringing them off the pipes uh, really nice uh, really nice shots with a quick quick release yeah we're fortunate that we get to uh do this game i mean you got number one against number two early in the season like this but uh it's going to be a great challenge for both of these squads and uh should be a fun night i'm, I'm excited well, we'll get ready for the starting lineups here we'll start with the claire altoona all-stars we'll, we'll just tune in as bob lets her rip Well, a great, great rendition of the 
National Anthem, sung by Hannah here, one of our local high school students. Chad, we're going to bust on over to you, get the starting lineups. We'll start off with that Eau Claire Altoona All-Star Squad. Yeah, so they've got uh, Madison Schwengler. Uh, she's a freshman. Uh, then we've got Abigail Stowe, a senior. Ava Kyson, a junior. Annika Olson, sophomore. Emily Verha, a sophomore. And then in goalie, they got Naomi Stowe, a freshman. She's been playing really good. For Hudson, we've got Molly Schuett playing defense, senior. Anna Wil Wilgren, defense, senior. Quinn Winkowski, sophomore. Danny Robson, sophomore, playing uh, center. We got Nikki Olin, a freshman. And then Cassie Schultz in goal. She's a senior. So should be a fun night tonight, Ken. Can't wait to see these guys, gals, I should say, uh, get going here in uh, number one against number two. It doesn't get much better, right? Early in the season, here we go, one, two. Great crowd over here at John Gornick Memorial. Put 17 minutes up on the clock. Both respective squads have huddled with their goaltender. We get ready to kick this one off. Yep, love it. So starting uh, center out there is Nikki Olin will take the face off for that Hudson squad. Nikki, Todd had mentioned earlier, got her first goal, varsity goal. Nikki, a freshman. Against number seven, watch out, number seven, that's Stowe. Huh, got to be related to the goaltender, I would guess. I would think so. Uh, and she's a heck of a hockey player. They both are. So this one deep in the Hudson zone now, the... All-Stars will initially take control, get it deep in. Hudson comes out with it now. Goes cross ice, tries to feed it over there to number 12 for Hudson. That's Quinn Winkowski. Hudson will keep it in deep now. They hit the brakes just below the goal line. Comes out to the point. Quick shot. Oh, we had a screen in front. That was Anna Wilgren. Wilgren uh, playing D. Excellent, excellent. Just a sniper out there. and Todd, a great vantage on that one. Screen kind of went in front of the goaltender Stowe, and then the shot came in. Goalie was able to pick that one up. Right, yeah. Anna had a good look and uh, a great screen, and uh, man, great save by Naomi Stowe. I don't know how she saw it, but she made a great play on it. Back out to the point now. Hudson with it. They'll go D to D. They'll work it in deep now. Tough to tell that number with the ponytail. I believe that's Sydney Hendricks. Yeah, number 19, Sydney. Coach uh, Karn had some nice things to say about Sydney prior to the game. Cassie with a nice save. That one shot right into the bread, bread basket there. So they broke on in down the right side. That was number 2-0 for the All-Stars. That's Lauren Carmody. Yeah, good rush by Eau Claire to get a shot on net there. Cassie made a nice save, so here we go with the face-off. Well, the face-offs won or at least controlled momentarily by the Eau Claire All-Stars. They'll dig around in the corner now. They continue possession. Feed it out to the uh, slot area. Hudson does a good job of uh, controlling that one and tries to get it behind the net, feed it up, but again, loses the handle at least momentarily. Hendricks with it now. She'll just hang tight with the puck and kind of try to get that offense regrouping in their own end. They'll try to feed it up through the neutral zone. Just kind of, again, both teams trying to... Uh, Get a sense for the other squad here, what they can and can't get away with. Yeah, so it's going to be a fun battle all night. We've got uh, some great skaters on both sides, and uh, it's going to be a great challenge and a fun night to watch both these, these gals get together here and see who can take over the top spot in the state of Wisconsin. So Wilgren will give Chase deep into the zone here. She'll gather that one up. Look at the head of steam she has just coming out flying. One, two. Passes three players on into the zone. W makes another move. Beats two more. Fits that uh, off the back of the net there. Wilgen, really nice effort. Just flying past people. You can tell uh, Karin had talked about the speed of our team. There is no doubt. They definitely have some speed in those legs. They'll dig this one up off the boards. That's 2-5 for Hudson. Julia, w help me out. Wareheim? Wareham. Wareham. Talking to her dad before the game. Great guy. Uh, it's going to be a fun. He also, very excited about the game, right? One, two. Everybody's kind of pumped up about it. Hudson, a nice uh, rink-wide pass there. 
Almost broke her in cleanly. Get that top line back out there for the uh, for the All-Stars. 7 and 10. Keep an eye on them. That one's sent just wide. Hudson tries to bank that one off the boards. Kept in nicely by the All-Stars. They'll work it back underneath the, uh, the goaltender on the goal line there. Nice little play. Up to the wing, out to the center, and out of the zone. Here we go. Couple coming in, a light shot, kind of goes off a stick there and up over the uh, the left side, not, not on net. Hudson will keep this one in. Bit of a hook there, no call yet. You no, know, we did get the call, nice job. So a penalty upcoming, they're gonna potentially pull their goalie out. Nope, we'll leave them in, we get a whistle. So a faceoff will be back in the zone here. A big power play coming up for Hudson. Yeah, it is a big power play and you've got, uh, I think it was, Abigail Stowe, too, uh, one of their best players, if not the best player, uh, going off the ice uh, with the hook. So uh, big, you know, power play. It's a big deal. Lose a, here. lose yeah, a player of that sure. caliber because certainly would be in on that uh, penalty kill. That's a nice job to keep this one on end deep. Again, that's Hendricks. Hendricks wheels with it. Back up right above the circle now. Takes a quick peek over to Hendricks. Looks like Hendricks getting ready to Unload the cannon from the blue line. She'll pass it over now. That's her partner up there on the on the line, Lexi Nelson. Hendricks lets one fly. Doesn't get through the traffic. Gets blocked. She gets sent down. We'll regroup in the Hudson zone behind Cassie. Cassie for all players at 1336. Stowe, number seven. So Todd, right on point. Good call. Stowe with the, with the penalty. Hendricks tries to work behind everybody. This one does get fed up to the point now. They'll work it cross ice. Wilgren, shot, it's loose in front. Nice, nice cover up by the goaltender Stowe. As that puck bobbled just a little bit in the blue paint there. Yeah, nice pass by Lexi to get that puck over to uh, Wilgren for the shot. And uh, great job by Stowe uh, to make the save on that. So there is no rebound. Nikki Olin in the blue paint looking for the, uh, the rebound, looking for that, uh, that end tight goal. Nikki's not the tallest player on the team, but she is gritty out there. Not afraid to get right in that uh, that blue paint. I'll leave it. The player going down behind the play here. Going to get caught along the boards here, looking to get some help. She'll feed it back down low. That's number 15, Robson. Robson takes a peek. Oh, tried to feed Hendricks there. That was kind of getting up to the blue and just... A hair outside, so this one will go the length of the ice. 38 seconds to go in this power play for Hudson. Again, a nice, nice opportunity early in this game to get something going. Anna Wilgren comes in all alone. Takes a quick peek, feeds it in front. Oh, oh my gosh, a point-blank shot was denied by Stowe. That was Hendricks in just wheeling and looking for that perfect shot. Didn't get the shot off really until it was too late. The goalie was set, or at least the goalie was in a good enough position to make the save. Boy, Todd, that looked like it was going to be a green light goal. Oh, man. And just Great couldn't, opportunity couldn't for quite Sydney. Put her together. That one's picked off just on the other side of the blue line. That's number 20 for the All Stars, Lauren Carmody. She'll feed it out to the point. Nice block there by Hudson. That's number 12 for Hudson. Winkowski. Love that name, Winkowski. Yeah, she's gritty, too. And the funny thing about her is she just started playing hockey, you know, the last few years. Is that right? Yeah, her game has just been wow. going on the rise. And uh, huh. she's been a fantastic player. She's a sophomore, and uh, look for big things from her. That's fun. Yeah, you just never know what sport's going to hit, and you just take off all of a sudden. Ooh, a dangerous one there. So that one popped out to the left of Cassie. Hudson able to control it now. And Oh, my goodness, they're going to give it away right in front of that. Oh, Todd, I thought we were going to have something to talk about. Winkowski almost all alone there and just kind of dribbled off the end of the stick. Again, Hudson with some nice, nice pressure. Well, I'll tell you, Todd, early on, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now from Hudson. They have a really nice speed coming in and out of their, their zone. They're breaking things through the, uh, the neutral zone pretty darn cleanly right now. Yeah, and, you know, I think we got one of the best players in the state, Anna Wilgren. Here she comes. Oh, my Look at goodness. That. Up oh, the left side. Draws too. a penalty. I don't know. I don't see any hands up. No hands up. That right. should have been right. called. But, I, I would think um, so. 
anyway, she's a fantastic player, and she's one that can take over the game. We talked about it last week, and she had a hat trick and assist, and uh, yeah, she's fun to watch. So Nikki Olin now in on the four check. That one will be bumped up this uh, right side. They'll get it in over the line. Number seven and 10 coming in hot together. That's the All-Stars top two. That's right. Yeah, they're fantastic. They both each have 15 points apiece this year. My goodness. Yeah, in five games. Yeah, they're fantastic too. Hudson will try to drop one in. That's Robson. That one goes off a, uh, a shoulder. One of the opposing players will get a penalty. A whistle and a trip here. Yeah, that's a bad trip on Robson. So Robson will get called for a trip. It'll be a power play, obviously, for the All-Stars. 9.32 left to go. Two minutes will go on the board for the All-Stars. It's their first power play of the game and the first penalty kill for Hudson. Ticky-tack play. You got to call it. It was kind of behind the deal. I missed it completely, yeah. Yeah, she, got, she tripped her, but she barely touched her skate, and she went down, so. Oh, uh, yes. Nice acting job on, uh, on the <laughs> Stars. That one goes uh, wide of Cassie. They'll look to uh, bump this one on out. Not bumped out. That's sent out with authority right there. They'll slap that one down the ice, and the All-Stars will regroup in their own end. The ref almost takes one off the noggin there. He takes a quick duck. Hudson will let one get on down that right side now. Sent towards Cassie. Cassie will cover it up. Does not want any of that action right now. We'll get a face-off to her left. So 30 seconds gone in that power play for the All-Stars. They'll send back the uh, number seven, Stowe, Abigail Stowe. Good pace of this first period. I like the way Hudson's skating right now. Yeah, I do too. Nice speed here. We need a good penalty kill. Seven. Wow, that was a, maybe a three iron. It's that one elevated about a 20-degree clip there. They'll <laughs> <laughs> send it over to her partner off the circle. Had somebody on the back side if they could have got it to her. A nice stick by Hudson to break that one up and out of play. Yeah, both these uh, opponent uh, power play uh, killers have been doing fantastic. They're uh, both 100%. They haven't given up any short-handed goals. So Claire will maintain control behind the goal line now. They'll feed it down to the, the right of the goaltender, Cassie. Back to number seven now. She fakes the slapper, looks for the lane there. Nothing, to do, nothing doing there. They'll walk on in the white over that circle there. And uh, again, nothing going. They'll look to feed this one back out to the high slot. She's calling for it. Goes past her. That was Stowe. Stowe with it now. Stowe looking for traffic in front. Great stick there by number 12. That's Winkowski. Good stick to block that shot. It goes up and out of play. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, you need to do when you've got the special teams out there. And it's another thing that, uh, you know, uh, Coach Tom Bernhard said about uh, his squad is that they've been doing a really good job playing defense and not giving up a lot of shots. So that's one thing that Hudson's done as well. So two things that both these teams have done well, and uh, so far it's it's seeing it tonight. Yeah, the scoreboard would, re would reflect that at four shots apiece right now. So in on that left side, they'll take a quick peek out to the blue line. That's Stowe with it now. It goes back to the... 2-1, nice stick again, really getting sticks in the way of these shots. I mean, they're helping Cassie out. Cassie's not even have, doesn't even have to feel the puck, right? Exactly. Good positioning by the defense here, and we've got 16 seconds to go in the power play for the All-Stars. Yeah, it's good defense on Hudson's part, and we've seen it on Eau Claire's as well, and uh, that's part of playing uh, really good hockey is just not letting your goalies, you know, take all those shots. So they'll Get this one out to the blue line now. Get it over to number 16. Not quite as sure-footed as number seven is out there on that blue line. 17 I was there, Bailey Dirks. We get another whistle. So a trip is going to be called on the All-Stars. Again, I don't know if I'm uh, if I missed it or what, or my uh, my camera guy was there, but I I didn't see that one either. Todd, did you get eyes on that thing? So yeah, Bailey Dirks has gotten got her stick on that puck, and Annika Olson, number sixteen for Eau Claire, you know, 
I guess it was another ticky tack trip, well, but yep. it was, you know, worthy of a call. Calm consistently, no problem. Yep. So Hendricks fires this one over. Sent on in, that was Wilgren. You may have heard the announcer say that Hudson's back to full strength. Hendricks trying to get that uh, puck pinched along the boards here. Got, uh, got uh, a, a linesman in the way there. A little poor positioning by the linesman. And they'll hopefully gain control here. It's in the corner. They Getting a little sloppy in their own end as they are taking this uh, this breakout. Yeah, nice job by Eau Claire putting the pressure on us. Yeah, Specifically, four, 15, four Cameron Kamadi was doing a great job on the press there. So the linesman again right in the action here. <laughs> one's bobbled underneath us. I can't see a darn thing right now. We'll just say it's in the neutral zone and there it is. Hudson working it up that right side now. Hendricks walks on over the blue line. Nikki Olin had a nice stick check on her. Anna Wilgren with it now. Anna stops, feeds it back out to the point. Hendricks with it now. Hendricks comes off that circle, back out to the blue line. Feeds it over to the far side there. Wilgren with a, a rare... Uh, uh, missed puck there as that one came in. Nikki walks out of the corner with it. Looks, had somebody right in the center. That was number 15, I believe. Uh, Robson just couldn't get her stick to move as it was being checked by the opponent. Back on in. Uh, looked to drop a pass and just, I don't know if it hit a stick or what, but it didn't get dropped to the point. Yeah, number really 10, look at this four there. check by number 10 hustling back. Yeah, number 10, Ava Kaisen. Fantastic player for Eau Claire. And you know, you know Lauren Carmody. Oh, really Cassie, nice big job. save. So a nice save there by Cassie. A shorthanded opportunity for the All-Stars. Hudson sputtering a bit on this power play, Todd. Just not uh, not really getting anything to click in, in the All-Star zone. So I see that they come away with it now. They'll get some fresh legs out there. Hudson will. Back to full strength. That's Dirks with it now. Dirks tries to feed the point, but unable to get it past the Ever elusive, number 10, Ava Kyson. Is it Kyson? Yeah, it is. Like it. Yeah, they outshot us on the power play. Yeah. <laughs> not uh, not what anyone uh, on the coaching staff is looking for there. So Hudson, both teams back to full strength here. And Hudson looking to kind of get the uh, get the wheels turning. They've been scrambling a little bit uh, later in this period. A giveaway. Nice job to pounce on that puck there. It's, Stowe had a had an opportunity to get into the slot area, but Hudson collapsed on her quickly, knocked that down. Well, Hudson struggling a little bit to uh, break it out of their zone cleanly. Quick shot that goes wide of Cassie. 4:34 left to go in this period. A high stick. We'll get a whistle, and that'll be a face-off to the right of Cassie. A yeah, little, little back and forth, but I tell you, this last couple of minutes, it's been you know a little bit more all stars. Yeah, it definitely has. It started when they were uh, on the power play kill, you know, and uh, yeah, that penalty kill got them fired up, got them yeah, going. The penalty yeah. kill fired them up, and they actually got a shot on goal, and we didn't get any, and they've been taking it to us here the last three minutes. Well, out to the point that'll be outside the uh, the zone here. Hudson with a nice job to get that one. Now deep, that's number 14, Rose Giblin. All-Stars will regroup in their own end. A errant pass, that's a giveaway. Hudson, Anna Wilgren walking around a couple. Oh, it's sauced on in. They couldn't quite get her to go. Sitting in the blue paint there. That one's still loose in the slot area. Hudson on in now. A little bit of mayhem in front of the, uh, the goaltender there. My goodness, what... Another great A opportunity. That's two of them so far, Todd, that have been sitting basically right in the blue paint, ready to go, and nobody could get get the twig on it. Yeah, Sydney Hendricks had a golden opportunity again. She's had two great chances tonight, so I know she's going to be thinking about those two. I hope it doesn't hurt us, but icing on uh, Eau Claire. We'll bring it back and have a face-off here. Well, I'll tell you, Todd, if you're going to be the team that's getting the great A opportunities, you know, being a Hudson homer, I'll take it that we're getting those opportunities, right? For sure. It, the, the puck's going to go in the net when you're getting opportunities like that. Agreed. I mean, you, you just can't not have this, the puck stay off your stick. If she gets her stick on that puck, it's in the net. Right, absolutely. Hudson wins the draw. Quick shot. Doesn't get through traffic there in the slot. 
Nice body in front of that one for the All-Stars. They'll give chase again. These All-Stars are really flying out there. Cut right in front of her, and uh, Hudson will come away with the puck. Tries to pirouette up the boards here and gets taken off the play. At least they're digging away in the uh, in the corner right now. Always tough for me to see down there with the booth and everything else. There we go. View. And over the blue line. It's number 16 kind of wheeling around. Sends that one through the slot area and just kind of at about five feet high. Tough to get anything to go on that. Swung at and missed. Hudson will wheel around with this one. That's number two, five, Julia Warham. 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 Thank you. I'm going to keep screwing that up until I get it right. Warham. Sorry about that, Dad. Yeah, Tom, he says, don't screw up my name. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? Yeah. Sorry. People screwed up my name for years, so I feel like you get a pass. You're all good. Well, All-Star is trying to get this one up and out as Hudson has maintained some control in their zone for a, a minute or so. 2.20 left to go in the period. Nikki Olin in over the blue line. Tries to feed that one over. Oh, a nice stick there by Anna. It's number 10 for uh, for the All-Stars. Was looking to break on out, but uh, shut down. That was Kyson, Ava Kyson, who would have loved that puck not to have been tipped right there. <laughs> that was going to be a problem, maybe. Absolutely. Yeah, she had four goals and an assist in the last game. She's a she's a point getter. Well, the faceoff just outside the zone here, and they'll control this one. They'll, the All Stars will get this one on in. Ooh, off the outside of the pipe, it looked like there, Ted. This you notice those brand new nets, Ken? Yeah, they look really nice, don't they? Yeah, you were commenting on the nets last week. And yeah, I'm I, sure I didn't have anything to do with that, but they look really, <laughs> I thought look you, really nice. I thought you ponied up the money for them. <laughs> Two on one, they send it across. What a save by Cassie. Are you kidding me, Todd? Beautiful. That was sick. Nice what job, Cass. What a save. Cass. She slides across the blue paint there. It's a 2-1. They break on in, and... An excellent pass across and an outstanding save by Cassie. Yeah, she saved the goal right there. That was a beautiful play. Claire had a two-on-one and just an awesome save. Cassie just did a great job to get back over there and make that save. I'll tell you, Todd, put the All-Stars down for a great A opportunity. Absolutely. That was, that was double A right there. So Hudson will look to regroup mentally after that breakdown. In their own end right now and looking to get this uh, breakout started. Fed up to Hendricks. Hendricks uh, cut, catches a little bit of traffic there and loses the puck. They'll have to regroup again in their own end. A nice forecheck by the All-Stars. They do put some nice pressure on this squad. And you got to be crisp getting these passes up and out of the zone here. It's no uh, no easy project getting uh, getting a good breakout going. Yeah, their defensemen um, pinch down really nicely and uh, make it hard for anybody to get out of the zone there. Boy, good sticks there in the neutral zone as they continue to kind of bottle up this Hudson team. Trying to hit a stretch pass there with Hendricks on that right side. Number 10 will fly on in and Cassie, again, maybe a bit screened there and a nice uh, job seeing that puck. It looked like it was going to be outside of the net area, but still her tracking the puck in or outside of the net, that's what you're looking for, right? Yeah, she did a good job. Molly Schuett was screening her and, uh, you know, not on purpose, obviously, but Cassie tracking the puck beautifully. And, uh, All right, that one sent right out in the slot area, tipped the timer two, and comes rolling in just to the right of Cassie, but covered up by her wisely. Again, like you said, Ken, uh, Eau Claire doing a really nice job with their sticks. It's been tough for us to get the puck out of our zone the last few minutes. Yeah, the last couple of minutes, really stingy, kind of getting out of the zone. A nice forecheck by the All-Stars. So 30 seconds to go in this period. it be fun to see Hudson get one more opportunity to get a rush down the ice here. See what the All-Stars will uh, let them do. Kyson giving, rush here. Yeah, Kyson giving chase here. And, Oh, oh, fed on in cleanly. That's tipped at the blue line. Mm, not sure what was going on there. Just kind of uh, sent that puck over to the uh, the wall, and we'll get a last-second rush by this all-star squad. That's going to do it for the first period, Todd. A little bit of back and forth. Both teams certainly had their moments in that period and their opportunities. A couple for Hudson and one for sure 
grade-A opportunity for the All-Stars. Yeah, fun period. You got number one against number two. They outshot us eight to five. Like you said, uh, I think we got a couple better chances than they did, but uh, it was a fun period. Eau Claire's got a great squad. Well, stick around. We'll be back for an exciting, guaranteed exciting second period. This is Ken Conan, Todd Hess. Talk to you in two. Well, welcome back to John Gornick Memorial Arena. It's Ken Conan, Todd Hess. Up in the booth here, we're knotted up 0-0 right now after one period of play, and seems like a bit of a uh, what's the old saying? A uh, tale of two, you know, two halves of the period almost, where both teams kind of figuring out, and then then Hudson definitely starts showing their speed. There, you, know, you get a couple great A opportunities, and then up oh, here comes the All Stars, right? They finish off the period very strong, and I, I think that penalty kill that they had on us, where we couldn't get set up. To save our lives. We couldn't get set up in their zone. Big momentum shift, and here they come. They start pouring it on late in the period. Had a really, really nice two-on-one break. Cassie with an unbelievable save as she stretched and caught that one, I believe, with a, a glove, maybe leg uh, pad. But, uh, yeah, fun fun start to the, uh, defense. To the game. Defense. Yeah, defense. A lot, a lot of bodies in front of in front of the goalies, blocking shots, sticks, like he called. Um, they did a, a really good job at, at blocking a lot of stuff in front of their goalie, and that's what Coach um, had said uh, that the Stars have been doing is, is making sure that uh, their goalie doesn't see a lot of shots. And uh, true to his word, uh, we only got five shots on goal. So Pretty impressive for the All-Stars to come in here with a, a freshman goaltender. And, you know, that's all, that's unreal, right? Coming in with a freshman you know, as a uh, varsity starter. Uh, still, uh, it'd be fun to get the story. Maybe we can do that between the next period. Abigail and Naomi, what's the relationship? With, you know, cousins, uh, sisters. Right. You know. Yeah, think of how good that program is going to be. They've got a, a, right. a, a freshman as a starting goalie. I mean, they're going to be good for a long time. She's got a 946 save percentage. <laughs> uh, in the first four games that she's ever played varsity hockey, and uh, she's doing a fantastic job. She's got a couple shutouts under her belt. Um, you know, they shut out uh, University of School of Milwaukee, and they shut out the Central Wisconsin uh, Storm. So um, she's doing a great job, and uh, we've got our hands full here, and hopefully Hudson can uh, come back this second period and really get after it and get some more shots to the net. Perfect. Well, stick around. We're going to break for a quick two, and we'll be right back. Well, welcome back to John Gornick, John Gornick Memorial. They are checking the net and the ice down at the far end of the arena here. Had a Zamboni uh, technical difficulty between periods there. It looks like the ice is getting close to being set up, maybe just a little bit wet down there. As the goaltender still will carve it up in front of her net. The brand new nets that you requested. <laughs> Special request, that's right. Yeah, those, those are great looking nets. I mean, you can see them, they're nice and clean. I was talking to Bob and uh, he had said that uh, he heard comments that uh, you were complaining about the dirty nets. So <laughs> he said, uh, make sure to tell Ken we got brand new nets. Oh, and I just love them. And yep. I'll be talking about those on the next Varsity Boys game, too. For sure. I'm yeah. probably not going to stop talking about them this year. Those are the nicest nets I've ever seen, Hess. Right. You know what? The I puck mean, comes out of there real quick. They're yeah. tight. Yeah. Well, and it's a little bit easier to see the puck, you know, for us at least, if you got a nice, clean, white net. We can actually see what's going on back there versus, you know, having a, a bit of a filthy net back there. He told me to tell you thanks for the donation. Perfect. I'm so... <laughs> I'm here to help, you know. You're a All, lifer. Always giving back. Yep. That's always what we do around back. here, right? Yep. Give, give, give. S someone complains about something and we'll <laughs> get it fixed. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, again, just a bit of a delay here as we are waiting for the ice to set up. Maybe we'll uh, we'll break for a quick, quick two. Let's do that. Well, we've got some ice that is frozen. Here we go. Let's play some hockey. 
So the All-Stars will gain control right off the draw here. Dump this one deep into the zone now. Number 10, their wheel. That's Kaizen. Tries to get this one set up. Hudson does a nice job of kind of breaking that up. Well, Claire again will go D to D. An errant pass there. They get, get a puck in deep. It's still in there. Nice little shot. Oh, Nikki with a nice shot there. Tried to get that one to go. We'll get a penalty call. I would believe that would be on the All-Stars. So a power play coming up for Hudson. I believe the hook was the call. Yeah, it looks like 17 is going to go to the penalty box. Emmy Verha for a oh, hold. A, a nice break there by Hudson. It's that puck kind of came into the zone and able to play that across, get a shot or two off. Nothing, nothing I'd call a grade A shot there, but a nice opportunity. Drew the penalty. Ooh, that one came up to the right of the goaltender there. Still, still calmly just holds her ground. Well, working on that far board now, Hendricks. Boy, that number seven, what an active stick on Hendricks over there, huh? Yeah, she's a heck of a player. I like watching her play defense. She's been one of the ones that has uh, definitely made a big difference on the power penalty kill. Oh, Wengren just smooth takeaway. Just flies by her, uh, her opponent. She goes sliding on into the end of the zone here. They'll have to regroup here at center ice. And just a ton of speed coming in on that rush. Lost the puck. Again, looking to get this one set up in the zone. This is looking better already than that late power play that we had. Anna back at the blue line. Nice shot. Gets in. Tried to redirect. And that one just got sent wide of the goaltender now. They'll go behind the goal line or underneath the goal line now. Work it up that far side. Looking. Looks Anna off. Gives her a drop pass. Ooh, a bit sloppy, but Anna gets away with it. Nice job. Brings it around a couple. Oh, Hendricks on the back side, and that just wasn't going to be on her forehand as she couldn't close the door. What a great individual effort by Anna. Wheeling past a couple players, and Hendricks, I'll tell you, that's her third one, I think. She loved to have back or maybe get something off the uh, from a shot perspective. Yeah, she just couldn't get her stick on that. It was an excellent save by Stoll. Quick shot, tipped. Oh, just behind the net there. Looked like for a second. Oh, Olin! There it is! Boom! Olin sneaks out from underneath the goal line. Scores a beauty as she dumps that one right in the net. That's one nothing. Hudson on top. What a beauty. Nikki Olin scoops that one up as it slipped through the blue paint. She slams the door shut on the goal. Nikki Olin with a beauty. Yeah, that's fun stuff, right? Nikki Olin's going to be a force. She really is. She's doing a great job, and uh, Hendricks and Robson get the assist on it. So, again, Nikki Olin with Hendricks and Robson on the assist. Well, Todd, that's a great way to start this period, you know? You get a power play. You get something going. You get nice possession in the zone for the most part. Yeah, it's the first time that uh, Eau Claire has given up a shorthanded uh, opportunity. So uh, we broke the case on uh, on Stowe today here in the second period. Yep, figured out the combo. So just gritty work, right? In tight, just getting shots on that. And that puck just bounced into the right spot. Nikki being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, that's something that you can't teach, like you said. Right place at the right time, and she seems to be that person that is always in that spot in the games Ab that we've seen. Absolutely, absolutely. And growing up in youth hockey the same way. She was a real good kind of rink presence, really good uh, kind of, uh, if you could call it almost a puck knowledge, right? She was going to be there uh, in and around the play much of the, uh, much of the game. Yeah, and you know she's worked really hard at it. Believe me, I've seen her on the. In, oh yeah. You know her, her dad's got a rink at home. Nice. And uh, old Doug's know. got a rink. Oh yeah, I love it. Absolutely, and you know I've seen her grow up, and she just she's a she's a rink rat. Love it. So fun oh, to Hudson, watch. Hudson controls this one on the far board now. They'll send it below the goaltender. Still, looks like a power play. It is not. This is full strength hockey right now. Nicely done by Hudson. Ooh, bounces around in front. Tight angle shot there. Bounces off the side of the net. 
They'll look out to the point. Nope, send it down low now. Hendricks muscles on the uh, the puck now. Kind of rolls off that player. Nice job to keep that one in at the point. They dig away on that far board now. And the Eau Claire All-Stars are going to be real happy to just ice that one down. We're going to whistle. It'll come back into the right of Stowe. What a tired, tired line out there for the All-Stars. All yeah, for sure. They're bringing out their number one line again here with, uh, you know, Kaiser and Stowe. Um, I think they've got Brooklyn Arbs out there too, maybe. Anna out at the blue line. Walks around one player. Boy, Anna, just fun, fun, fun player to watch. Loses control as she gets a couple players on her behind the, uh, behind the net there. So he comes down, we'll get a, another icing call. So yeah, it's, good start here by Hudson. Right. You know what, that long second, or, you know, intermission with the ice and whatnot, I would expect to see the top two lines for both squads out there. Going. A lot of time. I agree. Yep, a lot of ice time for those top two lines. So Nikki Olin wins the uh, draw at least momentarily. Hudson tries to keep this one in. All-Stars will regroup in their own end now. Tried to do a stretch pass. Anna picks that one off. Anna on end, left side of the, uh, excuse me, the right side of the goaltender. She'll swoop below the goal. Takes a peek, goes up high. Nice one. Oh, that got through a ton of traffic. Nikki Olin gives chase. Great pass by Nikki right in front. That's number 15 for Hudson. Robson trying to get a stick on that one. Did and just went wide. 11.40 to go. Hudson on top by one right now. Nicely controlling it in the Eau Claire zone. Eau Claire All-Stars. Comes number 10, breaking up north. Oh, nice play by the defender there to get that one out of trouble for Hudson as they were in a, an odd man rush situation. Yeah, Hannah Helmers, nice job. We need to get defense D back here. now. We got a uh, bad line change going right now. That's Cassie saves that one. Oh, my goodness. That one popped out. Here comes the turbo boosters up that left side now. Go, Bailey. No help for Bailey. Bailey holds up. Got a tired defense one. Defenseman coming in. And they'll get this one out again. I don't know what our, uh, it seems like we've only got one defenseman that wants to play back on play defense here. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing, like uh, defensive partner, are you back? Hello? Yeah, right? I don't know what the deal was there. <laughs> it's twice on, you know, two yeah. shifts. The miscue on the bench, I'm not sure. Back out to the point now. Two of the girls come Springer. out, block that one. Oh, a 2-1 two, two that was ready to go. They'll come up that left side now, dump it on in deep. All-Stars will ring this one up off the glass. Try to get it up and out. They do get control. Again, Hudson living a little dangerously right now, Todd. Their, uh, uh, their crew living a little bit higher in the, uh, in the offensive zone and maybe not getting back as quickly as they should here. I don't know. Action underneath. We'll get a penalty a call. Looks like a, looks like a hold will be the call. Ten minutes to go in this period. We'll get the offender in a second. Nine yeah. black. So the All-Stars is going to get a two-minute hold. That's number nine for them. That's Paige Rupert. Two for holding. So that'll be another power play for this Hudson squad. Ten minutes on the nose remaining. Hudson up by one. In on the faceoff, Hudson will win this one cleanly. Or at least it looked like they did. They did not. So the All-Stars will bank this one up off the uh, the boards and try to get it out. Played along the boards here. Just Robson just nudges that one over. Nikki Owen, gritty play along that uh, goal line area. Back out to the point. Wilgren, boy, can she walk some players. Ton of attention too, Todd. You watch her. She, draw, she draws... All sorts of attention when she gets that puck. Now wheel this one back out to the point. Yep, giveaway, All-Stars coming in. Wilgen with a nice, nice stick there to break up that uh, that effort. They got out of, out of their own end, but uh, unable to get anything going. Hendricks over to Wilgren. Wilgren up the right side now. In over the blue line. She hits the brakes. Takes a look for some help. Feeds this one along the near boards now, below the goal line. They take a peek 
Had Hendricks in the slot area. Anna camped out up high. Wheels on through. Tons of tons of space there. Just cruising through. That's Lexi Nelson. I think she's out for a Sunday stroll. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> right? Bringing it all the way around. Just coming all the way out. So Anna will try to work this one on out. Her stick gets knocked out of her hands. As she was coming in into the slot. All stars will, wow, take a what looked like a nothing shot that kind of had Cassie fooled. She was going one way, it went the other way. Was not on net, so no harm, no foul, but a pretty major four check going on here and just a totally errant icing pass there. Hudson in their own end. And so 10 seconds, to, excuse me, 16 seconds to go in the power play for Hudson and a bit of a miscue or two here late in this power play. Yeah, they had things set up there for a little bit, and uh, we got a lot of ice time down in their zone, but only, you know, one shot, really. Yeah, yeah. You know, Lexi Nelson coming around the whole uh, <laughs> front of the ice. Out for a Sunday, what we like to call the old Sunday stroll. That's right. Uh, All-Stars will bring this one on in. The hot hand. Love the backhand. I absolutely love that shot, Hess. One of my favorites. That's still Abigail still with a backhander. On net, Cassie with a nice save. So again, a power play is winding down for Hudson right now. Four seconds to go, and the All-Stars are putting a little pressure on here late, at least in the power play. And they'll give Chase and one second to go, full strength. Nice pinch along that far boards. Couldn't really make any hay of it, though, unfortunately. They'll get in onside now. They'll hit the brakes at the goal line, feed it up to the near board. Quick shot, gets blocked in front. Nice block by the All-Stars. So still in deep. Hudson would love to make some more hay in this period. They'll send this one down underneath the booth here. Up off the glass. The ref takes a quick duck to avoid getting smacked in the, uh, in the chops there. Oh, 10 works her way on in. Quick shot, a nice Ooh. snapper that goes up and over the shoulder. Again, not on net. Really nice shot. Beauty. Great release, good speed on that shot. Well, Hudson, it looks like we're going to change all four. They may, they may get uh, get everybody back out here pretty quickly. My goodness. Along the near board here, a nice, uh, nice lift of the stick. That was number 16, Natalie Miller for Hudson. Hudson with it now. Nice play there. They'll keep this one on in deep. Oh, Miller, great hustle out there. Miller with it now. Nice in shot. Oh, oh off the pipe. What a play. A great pass by Miller. That was number 2-5. That was Julia Wareham. Wareham? Yes. Oh, thank that goodness. Was. Oh. Wareham with a excellent off the pipe shot. I would have really liked if that had gone in. Hess, your thoughts. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful pass. Natalie Miller made a great uh, feed to, to Julia. And, uh, yeah, she rang it off the pipe. That was a cool play. That was sick. Well, keep it up. Again, great A opportunities. The more of those you get, the more pucks that will go in. Well, Hudson will control this one off the faceoff. Up that far side. Nice break out here. Very clean, tape to tape. What, uh, what, we're, what we're used to with this Hudson squad. A very nice breakout into the all-star zone. Juggled around there in the slot area. This one's sent into the near corner now. We'll dig this one out. Keep this one below the goal line for now. Coach for the all-stars yelling at Abby to get up. Oh, nice little play sent across there. Had a look there, kind of retreating on that one and tough to get anything to go. All-Stars on in. They'll take a long, long shot. Anna Wilgren will gather this one up. She'll go straight up the gut and feed off to the left side. Look at her move. By two already. Anna makes, oh, what a move. Anna, oh, my goodness. Anna beat three on that left side, going for the top shelf. Ah, oh, she Hesser. doesn't miss that a lot. Oh, that is her, That's at least in my Humble opinion, I've only seen her play a couple times. It's kind of one of her moves. Yeah. Getting on in deep and then just ringing it off that top shelf. Yeah, she doesn't miss that shot a lot. But Great you know what? 
what a heck of a play coming down that side. She beat three gales and uh, what great opportunity. Her what? individual efforts just amazing. Just whoop, and just the ability to, you know, beat three players like they're standing still. She's super fast. Her hands are extremely good, and she's got a shot that's got pinpoint accuracy. So um, yeah, that last skater that she walked. Oh my goodness, that was pretty. Well, you can tell why Mankato's picking her up, right? I mean, she is a uh, a serious, serious player. Yeah, they're getting a great, a great person, a great player, and uh, be nice fun stick. to watch her career. Ooh, a bouncer! Oh, Cassie, nice job. That was an excellent save by Hudson there. I'm not sure if Cassie got any piece of that or not, or if her defense was all in there. But an excellent, excellent opportunity for the All Stars that did not come to fruition. Hudson with it now. Hudson passed it over. Right in front. Oh, my goodness. Stowe, the freshman, wisely jumps on that puck as one of the Hudson players gets pushed into the net area. They'll clean this up. Great opportunity again for yeah. Hudson. Quinn and, uh, and uh, Olin Just both were right in front of the net there in the blue paint, and darn near got that one in. Uh, another excellent, excellent grade A opportunity for that Hudson squad. Again, keeping up the pressure. Hudson keeps this one in at the blue line. Quick shot, Stowe. Here comes the All-Stars now. They've got, got a couple. Their top player sends this one in on Cassie. Cassie will feed that one over to the corner now. Hudson, what an excellent, excellent breakout. Just... In the zone, breaking right out. Just a patent uh, up and out of the zone there. Yeah, beautiful passing. So this one's in the near corner here. The All-Stars will try to gain control. Hudson comes away with it now. Sauced up to the point area. Quick shot goes in on Stowe. She plays that one. Hudson again has got to respect the speed of the All-Stars, this line especially. Nice stick again oh by boy. Hudson. Here we go. They've got two on two. Yep, I thought we might have a three on two for a second. They crisscross at the blue line. We got a trailer coming on in with a stick ready to go. Hit Quick it. Shot. Oh, my goodness. That was number 12, Winkowski, going for the top corner. Winkowski, oh. <laughs> she had that one pegged, didn't oh, she? Oh, man. It was open. Stick cocked and ready to go. Stowe nicely saves that one. 321 left to go in this period. It has been fast and furious. A fun second period. Hudson on top, still by one. Again, 321 left in the second. Yeah, Stowe made a great save on that. That whole right side over her shoulder is wide open, and Winkowski went for it, and still made a great save. Well, Hudson will backpedal into their own end. Three players on this one. They had a trailer with nobody picking her up at all, and good for Hudson that that pass didn't come across because there was way too much attention being paid to that one player on that right side. Hudson brings this one on up. Hit that, uh, needed to go wide with that one. Kind of a, a miscue at the uh, center ice area. Yep. Not, uh, you had an open player wide, you just hit him, into the zone you go. Yep. And then, I'm not sure. The head you was. Gotta have better yeah. passing there. You gotta figure that out. Move the, last, the puck. Last thing you want's an icing right there. Yep, move the puck. She had Rose Giblin on that left side there, wide open. So Hudson will now have to bring this one up and out of their zone again. They fortunately do win the faceoff. Goes wide to the winger. Nice little play. Walks this one on over into the all-star zone. That was Shewitt. Shewitt sends a tight-angled shot in on the goaltender. In tight now. Again, Whelan. Oh, Hendricks, I thought she was going to put it home. On the wraparound. This one goes up and out of the zone. Hudson will regroup in the neutral zone here. Hendricks takes a look. It's time. Oh, oh. off the stick, I think, Hess. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was going to be the one. Hendricks was looking for that corner. A great shot. And I, my eyesight's not that good, but I think that might have gone off like the, you know, the knob at the top there. Yeah, the top of the stick. You're that right. was a, uh, and a wicked, wicked shot too. Hendricks, boy. And she had that side too. Yes. It was wide open yes. again. Yeah, the goalie's been uh, been giving that side up, but been making some great saves. Yes, she has. Excellent effort here underneath us. This 
the top player for the, the All-Stars, tries to wheel around one of our Hudson players, and a great, great forecheck, Hudson. In deep again. You can really feel the momentum right now for Hudson. They are feeling it right now. Sent out. High slot. Quick shot. Oh, right in on that. Another one. That one is down in the blue paint. My goodness, Hess. Another great A opportunity for this Hudson squad. And they need to remember to play defense here. It's just Eau Claire team can break out quick. Hudson back on in. In over the line. Come on, Kennedy. Sends it out front, goes off a player or two, and Hudson really wheeling right now in the zone. Yeah, Let's fun go. second period, huh? Man, if you're a Hudson fan, you're loving what you're seeing right now. A minute to go. You, it's like a bit of a breakout, and they are gassed out there on the ice. I'll tell you, that was number 10, just needing an oxygen tank, Ava Kyson, one of their top players out there. She is getting some ice time, Todd. Yeah, like I said, with that long intermission between the first and second period, I was expecting to see, you know, that first line play a lot of minutes. Yep. So Nikki Olin in on this draw. Hudson will come away with it. Try for a backhander there. Another tight angle shot. Doesn't go anywhere. All-Stars looking to break this one on out. 40 seconds to go. Hudson, that's Nikki. She'll send this one deep in the zone. Nice, smart play. They'll chase after it now. Oh, an errant play there by the, the All-Stars. That puck just sitting to the right of the goaltender Stowe. No real opportunities, but nice work by them to get another face-off in that zone with 29 seconds to go in this period. It'd be nice to pop one in here. Yeah, get a nice face-off draw back to Anna. Anna unloads. Yeah. Take a two-goal lead. That'd be fun. Back to Anna. Anna shoots. That's deflected and goes wide to the left of the goaltender still. All-Stars looking to make a quick rush here. This one goes wide. Nice patient play there. Tried to feed it up to the center ice area and just kind of bobbled there. And so they'll go back and forth. No harm, no foul here late in the period by either team. And we'll go into the... Second intermission, Hudson on top by one. Your shots on goal after two periods of play, it's 14 to 13. Todd, I felt like there's a better period for the Hudson squad. Yeah, it seemed like they controlled. They got a little more shots on net and uh, fun period back and forth. And uh, we got the power play goal with Nikki Olin uh, getting it past Stowe. And uh, I'm looking forward to this third period. This is a great matchup. You know, heading to the uh, the locker rooms after that first period, we were talking about uh, the game, and I think both of us agreed this will probably be a one goaler, right? So, third period, it's gonna it'll be tight, uh, but I think it's gonna be a very fun third period coming up. Well, thanks for joining us here on HudsonBroadcast.com and the River Channel. Ken and Todd, we'll be back. Well, welcome back to John Gornick Memorial Arena here in Hudson, Wisconsin. Your broadcasters are Ken Conan, that's me, and Todd Hess. What a great game we've got on our hands this evening. A really, really fun one versus two early in the season. And I tell you, <laughs> it certainly has reflected that throughout this uh, this game so far. It's a one nothing lead right now for Hudson and a really, really fun back and forth. I'll tell you, it seemed like Hudson had the better of the play that last period, Ted. Um Got off to kind of an early goal a couple minutes in. Uh, I believe Nikki Olin got that goal. Yeah, just a beauty. Right place, right time. You know, just working a rebound and bang that in on the uh, the left side of the goaltender. But I uh, felt like that kind of stirred up some momentum for that Hudson squad and certainly uh, carried them through the better part of the period there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a fun period. And uh, I think, like you said, Hudson did get the better half of that. We outshot them in that period. And uh, it was fun, and Nikki Owens got, you know, relatives that are uh, listening to the game in, a, in a various par parts of the state. And so uh, we'd like to give a shout-out to Beverly Fricky. Al and Beverly. Yep, Al and Beverly. And they're in Colby, Wisconsin. Then we got Michelle and Shaley in Merrill, and then uh, Doug and Mannion Olin in Rice Lake. So I think that's uh, Marion. Marion? Yep. Okay, I can't. Marion Olin in Rice Lake. That's on Doug's side of the family. Thank you all for joining us here on HudsonBroadcast.com and the River Channel. I would guess you guys are on the broadcast side of the house since you're 
Colby, Merrill, and Rice Lake. Again, thanks for joining us. A fun, fun deal. We get to uh, broadcast out over the airwaves here, out to all over Wisconsin, and you get to see Nikki Olin score number two on the year, I believe. Yes. I don't have the stats in front of me, but I think that's number two on the year. For sure. Yeah, it was fun watching her last week in that uh, Superior game when she got her first goal, and I think I said at the time it's the first of many, and uh, she's <laughs> going to be a fun player to watch as, you know, all these Hudson girls, they're really a good group, and, and I know a lot of their parents, and I watch these girls grow up and uh, watch them win some state champion championships. So it's um, going to be a fun season, number one against number two here, Eau Claire, and uh, hopefully we can, you know, finish this one out. Yeah, I'll tell you, Todd, the, uh, the girls' program just this last year, we talked about it a little bit last time, but has a new uh, coaching core. And uh, some really, really good coaches have joined that staff, and um, I think that's going to uh, help elevate all of their games. You talk about the speed game, some of the puck, puck handling skills that they have, and that speed game was definitely on display in that second period, really, uh, really noticeable uh, at all levels. I think Anna Wilgrain would be one I would call out as, of course, one of the all-stars in this program. Her bringing it in on that left side and absolutely just blowing past two and then running the old uh, toe drag or whatever maneuver she pulled around that uh, that third skater and then just unfortunately just sent it a bit over the, uh, the net there. Yeah, if folks haven't come out and watched this Hudson girls hockey team play, uh, they definitely need to come out and watch because uh, they are a very talented group. They're number one in the state. Uh, along with the boys, for that matter, um, number one in the state, defending champions. And uh, it's been a, it's going to be a fun year, Ken. We get to call a lot of I these know. games and, and get to see uh, and, you know, watch some of the great hockey in the state of Wisconsin. It's right in our hometown of Hudson, so pretty it's going to be fun. Pretty spoiled. Well, I'll tell you, if you are marking your calendar, mark down Saturday afternoon. The girls will be back in action. We're going to try our best to be over there if the, uh, the, internet, uh, the internet world or internet connections are, are, are good enough. We will be broadcasting this Saturday live girls varsity hockey. So hopefully the, uh, the Bielenberg rink over there in Woodbury will be cranked up on their internet connection. So this one fed on in and the ice is still setting up. You can see how that pucks a little bit... Uh, Got a little bit of a starter, stutter step out there. One of the All-Stars looking to uh, get something going there early. It's number 10 had made a move on in. Going to keep your puck tight on this puck. As, excuse me, keep your stick tight on the puck as you bring it up and out of the zone. That it's kind of stopping a little bit now. I wouldn't mind if they waited another second or two for that ice to set up, but it is what it is. Both teams will play with a little bit of wet ice out there. Hudson with it now, tries to feed it towards the uh, slot area, could not quite get it there. Nikki Olin will give chase, nice stick by Nikki. She'll keep that one deep in the zone. Nicely done off the uh, the defender there. Nikki getting her stick drug. Nikki comes away with it. Nikki takes a quick peek, fires one, fluttering. I'm not sure if her stick got checked there at the end or what, but not uh, what we've come to think of as a nice Nikki Olin shot there, but good effort to get away from traffic there and get uh, a decent uh, shot on net. The All-Stars will try to come out with it now. That's number seven there, hot hand, Stowe. Stowe worked that blue line. Stowe might be looking to do things on her own just a little bit here. They'll tag back up. Hudson will get on into the zone and grab that puck. Ooh, an errant backhand pass there that got picked off in the neutral zone. Hudson again looking to make some smart passes up and out. Again, trying to get it in. Got caught up in a skate there. Comes the All-Stars in over the blue line now. Nice stick there to push that skater off into that far corner now. They'll regroup and we'll get a penalty. A hook will be called, I would guess, on Hudson here. No, nope, maybe not. No. You guessed wrong, Mr. Conan. It's on the All-Stars here. And she's had a really good game, Carmati. Boy, what? Uh. What a deal. If you're the coach of the squad right now, you take a, a penalty in the zone, that... That's a tough one. That is a tough one to swallow. Yeah, she's had a great game. Cameron Camarotti, sophomore from Memorial, 
So a big, big power play for Hudson right now. Hendricks will feed it out to Wilgren. Wilgren sends it across ice now. Takes a quick peek, and on that, that one goes to the outside. That was Lexi Nelson, number two, three. Nelson with it now, far board. Nelson tries to send it low. There's a stick in tight there and gets picked off. Not a wise play there on that far board, Hess. No, she's got to come back to the quarterback, Wilgren, that's standing at the point and ready to fire. Right. Um, yeah, air pass. You're forcing it up that far side with two players ready to go. Wilgren wheels around. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? What a – that seems like we've seen that two, three times now, and each time it has provided an excellent opportunity. We need to, like, draw it up. Okay, you position here because Anna's going to wheel around and the puck's going to come right out. Oh, well, that's in the net. Number two, three, Lexi Nelson camped out in front in the slot area. Todd Hess, I'll take a high five. Absolutely. Sorry <laughs> to leave you hanging there. I was just uh, watching them celebrate that goal, and what a great job coming around the net and getting it to Lexi out front. And They Pop. just did the same darn play right before that, and it that went did. through two of our gals. And we didn't get a shot, and we were like, oh, my goodness, they got to put that puck in the net. And sure enough, they get it done here on the second try, Lexi well, Nelson. Lexi from the slot area just drills that one past Stowe. It's a big, big, big goal early in this period. Another power play early one. Somewhere in the last period, so here comes the All-Stars. Do not look for them to lay down. They are going to do their best effort. Oh, a big save by Cassie. That one got loose to the right. No whistle yet. Everybody's on top of that one. It's a big pile in deep there. And they'll finally get a whistle now. 13.53, 2 nothing. Hudson on top. Yeah, never discard the Eau Claire Stars. What do they got going on here? So, yeah, face off to the right of Cassie. But last year, remember, Ken, we were down there in Eau Claire and, and uh, Hudson was up, I, mean, I don't know, I think it was like 6 to 2. And uh, Eau Claire came back, and it was 6-5 to five with a couple minutes left. It was a meat grinder. Yeah, a lot closer than uh, we thought rolling into that game. I think we were getting out there for a boys' varsity last year, and just a wild, wild finish there. So you cannot, like Todd said, you cannot discount this Stars team. They are going to turn it up right now and look to uh, get a goal back. It's one at a time right now. I'm sure the coach is telling them. So down beneath us right now, they'll flip this one on and deep. That's... Danny Robson, Robson in on the on the check here. Robson, that looked like a bit of a check there, but I, I like how they uh, they let that one fly. Wilgren with it now. Maybe they didn't let it fly. Yeah, yeah, right. body check. So they did call that. They did call that. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So a power play right now for the All Stars, and this. If you're a coach for the All-Stars or a fan of the All-Stars, this is just what you'd like to have happen after that second goal was scored by Hudson. Get on the power play and try to make something happen. Hudson, this will be a big, big penalty kill, and these are the penalty kills that can, you know, add momentum to whichever team is, uh, you know, making it happen right now. If you're on the power play, get one in the net. Penalty, penalty kill, just keep them out of the zone and keep it out of the, uh, the goalie's area. They'll wheel this one behind the goaltender, Cassie, now. Wilgren tries to send this one on out. Again, a nice stick there to block that shot. Hudson doing a great job of getting in the lanes there and not really letting them get to those good, clear shots to Cassie. Back out to the point now. They look, try to feed this one down low. A bit of a miscue there by the All-Stars. Right now, the 10 and 7 on the bench. I would assume they'll be out here in the next whistle if there is one that one uh, a nice pad save Wilgren tries to work between the boards and her defender they'll get a fresh leg or two off the bench now sent on end wide of Cassie 2-1 for the All-Stars will check in I'm just waiting for 7 and 10 to pop out there right now Hess and just you know with these tired skaters for Hudson yeah, they're doing a nice job on the PK. You know, Bailey Dirks and Natalie Miller are doing fantastic on the points, and they haven't had a shot on goal. Well, well, the coach is yelling at them right now. They're going to change one. Yep, there comes number 10 for the All-Stars. 
I would guess another one will come in. They'll get number seven out there. A nice, nice play. Hudson picks this up. Is that Nikki? Yes. Just grinding away. What great play by Nikki Olin. Unreal. Nice, nice forecheck. Gets a hold of the puck. Drives the net. Gets a whistle. Mm -hmm. Big fan, Todd, if you can't tell. Yeah, she is. She's she's fun to watch. She's going to be a great player. And uh, there will be a lot of people watching her. And, and hopefully she can. Oh, not. here we go. Trying to get in all alone. Quick shot right into the goaltender, Cassie. Cassie with a great positional save there. That shot into the uh, right into the jersey. Oh, great uh, back check there by Hudson, too. See, had to really, really get on the horse to get back for that, uh, that play. Hudson back at full strength now. They'll get their full complement of players out there. A big old slap shot from the point. That one sails up and over Cassie's shoulder. Hudson would love to gain control and get a breakout. And they do. Up out of the zone. Comes in over the blue line there. That's Robson. Robson has Olin with her. Olin tries to find some open ice. Anna, nice little play there. She sneaks on in late. Anna back. Oh, my goodness. Anna takes it away. There's a penalty on Hudson. So another power play coming up for this all-star team. They're getting Anna on a slash. Uh, yep. Huh. Okay. Yep. They're getting Anna on a slash on that play. You know, I I see what the ref seen. You know, okay. um, I probably would have called it. Um, I don't know. Well, that's a tough one. I'd like to not see it called, but it probably you know yeah. needs to be yeah. called. You know, she did slash slash her stick and took the puck away from her. So, so. another big big power play for this. Eau Claire Altoona All-Star squad. Bit of a hold of a stick there. We did get some fresh legs out there for the penalty kill. Nice work, Hudson. Hudson gets control of the puck, and they'll send this one the length of the ice here. Look at this. Nice, nice hustle. Hudson in deep. Get the number on that girl. Is that 17, Dirks? Yep. Dirks, just all sorts of havoc in there deep. Working hard. That was a great, great forecheck. Killing a handful of seconds off the clock. I love that kind of effort, Hess. Yeah, gritty. And you know what? A lot of these girls are like that. It, you know, she, she was doing a great job on the PK the last time we are on the, uh, the PK, and she's doing it again today on so that shift. Another faceoff to the right of Cassie here. A minute, 22 seconds left to go in the power play for the Altoona Eau Claire All-Stars. Goes back high slot now. That's number seven looking to get oh. something going. What a nice move. Walks around one player. Wide open net. Wide open net there. That was number 10, Ava Kissen, who buries that puck. And a lot of attention was paid to number seven coming in. Nobody picked up that, uh, that forward. And that's not one you want to leave a all alone over there on the backside, Ted. No, no. She had four goals and assists the last game that she played. And, uh, yeah, they're a force to be reckoned with, like I said. you got to always, you know, keep your game going strong and uh, don't let up at all because they'll come back. Well, that's one goal they have back now. So we're back to that one goal lead if you're rooting for Hudson. We got nine and a half to go, and things just got a little bit tighter out there. Here comes the All-Stars back down the right side now. And I'll tell you, Todd, there was nothing Cassie could do on that one, right? No, I mean, just absolutely nothing. absolutely not. Nothing you can do. No. A great, great play by the All-Stars there to get that one. A lot of attention on that left side, and then a great outlet pass. Good goal. Still watch that one fly past her to her right. Hudson with some good speed here. That one goes up off the net. A souvenir for one of our fans. Yeah, that's Rose Giblin giving a uh, great effort and flying to the ice and uh, getting back there and trying to make uh, something happen here. Well, it's fun to be a one-goal game again. <laughs> Gets the blood going. Uh, again, about 8.56 to go in this period. Yeah, I think that's the first goal that Hudson's given up. Uh, you know, on uh, 
PK. Hmm. All season? Yeah, all season. Wow. Yep. Well, it was an excellent power play. Just kind of who we expected out there. Seven and ten getting the uh, getting the goal there. And the goal and the assist. Hudson with some nice work here. Trying to get that momentum going back their direction. High circle. Quick shot on in. It's underneath her. She didn't know where it's at. Stowe. I think it was going five hole there. And you got the pads covered, covering it up. And oh my wow. goodness. Just kind of out of nowhere. A shot. From that circle, face-off dot area, comes in on Stowe. Stowe loses sight of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> thought we were going to have a trickler. Yeah, that was close. Right underneath her, she made a good save. That's a tough shot. Well, and it's a goalie. You just, right, just be cool. Be, you know, don't make any sudden movements. Don't let that puck loose. Right? Don't, don't kick it in. Right, right. Oh, nice hustle again by Nikki Olin. Nikki on this near board here. God, Nikki just a monster on the uh, on the effort meter. Anna on in, around one, around two. Grabs the puck. Get in position. She's swinging around. Get ready for it. Nice stick. Hudson comes away with it. Get to the slot area. They're working on it. Try to feed it back to Anna. Oh, the D steps up. You got to be careful doing that with these players on the ice. Now number seven goes to the left side again, feeds it out front. Again, same play. Feeds it out front. You got somebody waiting right on the back side there. An easy tap-in goal. They're gonna tie it up at two apiece. Basically the same play. Get a whole bunch of attention coming in on that left side and then feed a sweet, sweet pass all the way across. Tap it on in. Yeah, that's Madison, Madison Schwengler. From guess who, Abigail Stowe and Ava yep. Kyson. Yep. Yeah. Well, you knew that was going to, you know, they were going to get their chances too. So all tied up now and talk about a game. We got one on our hands. It's two apiece. Like I said, we watched them last year and uh, they came back from four goals down and made it a one goal game and uh, they were two goals down here, and now we're tied up. So, I think the good news is both teams are able to flip the switch, right? Both teams are able to. There's a check. We got a penalty here. There it is. Oh, a quick shot. Another try. Still with it. Hudson still controlling this one. With the goaltender out of net. That extra skater on the ice. We got a whistle and a power play coming up for your Hudson Raiders. Oh, perfect timing if you're going to draw this one up. A Power yeah. play with 7.15 remaining in the third. Yep. 16, Annika Olsen, body check right underneath us. You know, mm. it was an obvious call. And uh, hopefully Hudson can capitalize. Anna feeds it across to Hendricks. I feel like Hendricks is due, Chad. She's had several opportunities tonight. and I Oh! What a great tip. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Awesome. I wasn't save. expecting that shot at all. I thought, oh, we're going to work it back over to Hendricks. Anna lets one fly as one of her teammates, I believe that was Robson, was going right in front of the crease area and redirects that shot. A really, really quality shot in on net. Goaltender will get her mask all fixed up. That's Stowe, the freshman. The girls for Hudson will regroup just above the faceoff dot here. Fun game. Oh, this is just great. Everything we expected. It's fun when these games live up to the uh, to the hype a little bit, right? Where it's like one versus two, and it's played like one versus two. For sure. Love it. Back out to the point. Had a, uh, a girl on her. Nikki will give chase there. Nikki, great stick check to get that puck away. Huh. Just gritty, gritty play again by Nikki Olin. They'll ring it around the board to the near side. Lindgren grabs this one up off the glass. They feed it across. A bouncer just bounces over Hendricks' stick. Hendricks will play this one up between two defenders. What a great maneuver. Hendricks on in. Run off the puck late. Back out to the point now. It's got wind. Anna to her left. They feed it down low. Just played off a stick there. That just took a weird bounce. A minute to go in the power play. They'll switch all but one off the, uh, the penalty kill. 
get the two hot hands out there right now for for the All-Star team. You got to keep an eye on them. Even shorthanded, 7 and 10 on the ice for Altoona and Eau Claire All-Stars. They take a peek off the board. Oh, they had him on the back side. That was the Altoona play, right? Yep. Misdirection. Go, get him going east to west. Oh, that's in the goal. Anna lights the lamp. That was a beauty just inside the blue line. She lets a wrister fly up over the blocker side. It's 3-2. to two. Hudson back on top. What a beauty, Hess. That was a great shot. Absolutely. Next, Lexi getting the assist. And... Uh, Let's catch who what else. What a beauty. Well, I tell Nikki, you. I think Nikki got the other assist. So, sweet, fantastic. Sweet, sweet hockey here. It's both of these teams trading trading punches in this one, Hess. It's, uh, it has been very, very entertaining in this third period. Oh, Ooh. there's a body check. That one's not called. Getting a little chippy out there, maybe. I'm not sure if it's just me or what, but it seems like it's a bit chippier. So the hot, hot line out there right now, the 7-10 duo for the Altoona Eau Claire All-Stars. Fed out front. My goodness, that's what an opportunity that was. Right into the slot area. Nobody able to really get a twig on that one, but a great, great scoring chance, again, for the Altoona Eau Claire All-Stars. Well, this team right back on it with the pressure. An excellent play. I wouldn't mind uh, Cassie covering that one up, Todd. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. There we go. We got a whistle and a stoppage here. Give me time to breathe. 4.51 remaining in this third period. Hudson back on top by one with an excellent, excellent goal from Anna Wilgren from just inside the point area. So, yeah, we scored all our goals on, on uh, power play. Yeah, special teams have been very, very big for us. So Hudson will come away with this when they send it below their goaltender. Anna, ooh, nice move, hits the brakes, loses two, sends it up the near side now for the breakout. They'll go cross ice with it now. That is what I'm talking about. Very smooth, nice transition. Excellent, excellent breakout. Olin out to the point. Feeds this one across, back oh. in front. Oh, that puck fell down. Kennedy Hendricks, number six, with a nice shot on in. Anna with a nice move. She'll spin around one or two. Anna with a big slapper coming on in. That does not feel good. Nikki Olin with it now. Nikki gets run off that puck. Anna again, nice shot. Another slapper. That does not feel good if you're blocking those. Hey, you know what? They're doing their job. They're getting in front of those pucks. They're blocking them. I mean, that's fantastic, really. I, mean, I love seeing it going down, getting in front of your uh, your opponent, taking it right off the knee or whatever. They're doing a good job. Eau Claire has been coached well at block shots, and they've been doing it all night. Here we go. you got to be careful with the dynamic duo out there. Here comes 10 down the left side. Well, this line has accounted for all of the points so far for the Altoona Eau Claire squad. Cassie sends Ooh. that one wide. 3.45 left to go in the period. Sent out front, good stick. Oh boy, living dangerously right now. So they're scrambling a bit. Nice kick save from oh, Cassie. What a save. Great save as that one goes up and over the net. They're fighting on, fighting for it just a little bit on that far side. They'll get an offsides call. They'll all tag up now. I tell you, that was just total miscommunication on that far side. It has two of the uh, Altoona players just fighting over the puck over there and ultimately ended uh Having that get up and out of the zone. Hudson now with it on that far board. They'll tap it on up. Nice play. Hendricks with a great move. Walks around one player. Hendricks. Woo! Hendricks with a great shot. Nice save by Stowe. The freshman Stowe coming up big when she has to. Anna, look for her to go right up the gut. She does. Gets taken off her feet. Big check. No call. No call. Boy, Anna playing some nice hockey right now. Played a great game so far. 2.45 to go. We will keep an eye on that goaltender as we get later in this third period. The All-Stars right now with all the pressure in the zone. Nice Fed wide, up. nice feed, far side. Work that one on and deep now. They'll give chase. They freshen up the legs out there, get two new skaters out. 
Hudson wants to keep this one deep and control the puck. So it comes out, number 10, trying to get her hands on that one. She'll wait for her, her winger to get on out there, trying to make a move, walks around one. Well, this is the time you look for seven or 10 to just take over, right? Not pass, just wheel and deal. 10 on that far side. Walks out in front, number seven does, oh, oh the pipe! That one got over Cassie's head. That hit the pipe. Todd, that was about a millimeter away from going in. What a great play by number seven and 10 as they again continue to wreak havoc in that offensive zone for Hudson. They're both gas beyond belief right now as I saw them both come off, or excuse me, 10 come off, seven still out there. She wheels on in, makes a move. Oh great goodness. move, nice stick check there by Hudson. My goodness, Todd, what great effort, individual effort there by number seven. Here comes Hudson on in deep. That was number five, Molly Schuett. She's got Nikki Olin backing her up out there. They'll bang this one off the boards. Yeah, they're letting them play this last two minutes. There's a couple of possible calls. Yep, but I, yep. like the, I like the keeping the whistle oh in the pocket. Boy. You gotta be careful. Good smart passes here, about a minute to go. You'll hear the announcer come on in two seconds. Number 10 back out there, got a little bit of oxygen. The goaltender is coming right now for Altoona. We've got an empty net at one end of the ice. Hudson in their own end. They get this one up and out. A nice, nice play by Hudson. Altoona will regroup. Nice, nice stick, stick there, nice stick. That was number 12, another nice stick. That's Winkowski. Winkowski with a nice defensive effort there to get that one deep in the zone again. Again, an um, empty net down here. Oh, 2 3. Hudson was looking to get that one. That's Nelson. Oh, we got 23 seconds to go. Hudson will grab this one on the far board. Brings it back on into the zone. 17 seconds. Nicely done. Tipped up and up, but not out. That's a big mistake to not get that one cleared out of the zone now. Eight seconds to go. Thank goodness, Hess. That didn't cost us anything. Well, that is what you know. And that's what we call a victory. Well, that was a beauty, a one-goal game that was predicted here in the booth. You heard it here first <laughs> from the Hassan Conan Show. What a beauty of a game. One versus two and one comes out on top by one. Your total three, the Eau Claire Altoona All-Stars with two of them. What a great game, Hass. It was everything we thought it would be and maybe a little bit more. I had a great time calling this one. Yeah, they're uh, two really good teams. That's why they're number one and number two in the state, and I'm sure we'll see them later down the road. And Fantastic programs, a lot of good talent on both sides of the, of the ice there tonight, and uh, it was fun, huh? A whole lot of fun. That's, uh, that's my kind of Thursday night game. Well, I'm glad that everyone joined us uh, on HudsonBroadcast.com and the River Channel. We hope to have you join us next time. Check online on HudsonBroadcast.com. See when the next upcoming boys or girls varsity Hudson game will be. Again, your final, 3-2, to two, Hudson on top. This is Ken Conan and Todd Hess saying thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.